Well, hello! Merry Christmas, my creative friends. My name is Heather North. You can find me on Instagram at Heather's Creative Blessings. That's Heather's with an S. And this is floss tube number five. At least, I'm pretty sure. Last week I said it was floss tube number three, and it was not. It was floss tube number four. I've already messed up the numbers. If you uh, look down at the description below, I do have the correct number there, but oh well, whatever. Pam and Steph. Stephanie, if you watch um, Just Keep Stitching, Stephanie counts out the numbers to get to the current episode that they are on. And I tell you what, she is really good at it. Me? Obviously? Not so much. I find redemption when I watch, um, when I watch Stitching with the Housewives because Priscilla and Chelsea have the hardest time keeping track of their numbers for the giveaway and I just I'm so glad they don't edit it out because it, it, it brings me a little bit of joy to know I'm not the only one that gets easily distracted and you know it can be hard to keep count and keep track so anyways this is floss tube number five that means this is a video about cross stitch and um, what I've been stitching on this week what I have finished I actually had my first two FFOs and if you're like me and haven't been around the stitching world much until just recently um, FFO means fully finished object and that is you're finished stitching it and then it's turned into whatever it's going to be whether it's being framed or some kind of wall art or a pillow or in my case I did two ornaments and I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them in the video I have to figure out how to add to those pictures because They've already been sent out. So if you're family, don't watch the rest of this video. You, you, you might end up ruining your surprise. But the people I made it for, I don't think watch my videos, so we should be good. So um, what have I been working on this week? I have been working on lots of things. Getting ready for Christmas uh, is one of them. But we were a little ahead of the game, so I did get some stitching done. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you, the first whip, this is my Christmas blocks. This is the advent, kind of a, a take on the advent calendar, and I am loving this. I think going forward, I'm going to look for uh, an advent style cross stitch every year or something that I can keep up year after year. But it's been really nice to every night just go and work on a block or two because I've been behind. I've had to play catch up. But to just work on um, stitching and thinking about Christmas, Christmas traditions, different things that mean something to me during this time of the year. So this is by um, Pine Needles Online. It was designed by Sandra Workman. And uh, she has it, like I said, it's pineneedlesonline.com is where you can find this pattern. It's free right now for December 2020. I don't know if it will be in the future. I don't know if they'll keep it up or if they'll take it down and you won't be able to find it. So even if you didn't get, this is a little distracting, isn't it? Even if you didn't get to stitch this this year, maybe print it out or save it and work on it next year or start it on Christmas Day and, and keep Christmas kind of going in that way. I uh, stitched mine on Bone Lugana 25 count. Um, I got that, it's by Witchelt. I got it from Everything Cross Stitch. And I did the call for colors that I had and the ones I didn't have, I substituted. So when this is all done, I, I will try and remember to take a picture of what I end up using and post it along with a finished picture on Instagram. So if you're interested in the color changes or you can leave me a comment down below. But um, when I had last shown this, I think I was, I think I had just finished this row and I'd added some stitches for the reindeer. I could be wrong. And I told you I was going to try and finish up these two days and then um, work till I got them all done. So today is the 22nd. This was, this was last night's and um, I tend to work on them at night after the puppies go to bed. But this is where I am so far. I made some mistakes, and so I'll point them out. This, <laughs> I don't know, I got I got off count on this. I think it's probably like a mistletoe ball or 
some kind of cute little thing and I added too many and I, and I was all done with it when I realized I had counted wrong and I was like, I'm not going to pull it out. So there's that. Um, I'm going to get up close. Hopefully you can see. I love the little pine tree. I just did kind of long stitches on those. Um, there's the little skating girl. Um, this reminds me of my niece Mika. I might have changed the color a little bit to get to the more pinky color in the dress. I can't remember um, for sure, but that reminded me of Mika. And then the stockings, I changed them to be closer to the colors of our stockings that I made years ago. And I messed up on the snowflake, but I do love how it was charted. Um, it just, I thought it was okay that I didn't have to go and change the, the stitch that I made wrong. Um, I don't think anybody else will know. <laughs> and then for the elf, um, I believe that, that it was based on the movie Elf, which is one of Sandra's favorites, but I've never seen that movie. And so, um, oh, I know one of the changes up here. I made the globe more of a gray um, to be kind of a silver versus the gold because it was pretty gold heavy and it's really not my favorite color. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I changed that to silver and I didn't want to do like a big or gray, a big gray building. I now know it was based off of the movie Elf and that it's based in New York City. And I think if, if what I read on Facebook is correct in the stitch along group, um, that Buddy's dad worked at the Empire State Building, so that's what that was. But at the time, I didn't really know what any of that meant. I just thought um, it would be a lot of gray to have gray on top of gray because I'd already changed this to gray before I knew what this one was. And so I changed it to a Christmas tree. I kept little white dots in there. And then I changed the color of the skin on my elf because it reminds me of my friends, the Greens, their grandsons. They have Oh, one, two, three, four, five, five, six ish grandsons and a granddaughter, I think. Five, six. I shouldn't, I shouldn't know. I haven't met all of their grandkids, but I've met, a, uh, I've met four of them and they are just the cutest little elves. And so I just thought, it just reminded me of, I don't know, I just wanted to put them into my Christmas. So um, there's the little green grandson's elf. And um, I just used one of the colors that I had done in the reindeer um, mocha or chestnut or something like that um, for his skin. And then today's little elf I did, or a little child, he's not done yet. I just realized I forgot to put the scarf in. So, um, and I forgot to turn my phone off again. Sorry, you guys. Okay, it's silenced. <laughs> you know, it's just Murphy's Law. If I'm going to film, there's going to end up being, there's no clouds in the sky. We actually had a sunny, sunny day here. Uh, last night it was windy. I live in the Pacific Northwest in Southwest Washington, um, about halfway between Portland, Oregon and Seattle, Washington. And it was so stormy. It was so windy and rainy last night. Our power went out. And today it is sunny and cold, but somehow a cloud is somewhere in the sky and it kind of just went over. So it makes it actually easier for me to see, but you might see me coming in and out of shadows. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's where I live in the time of year. Um, maybe I just need to get a steady light and close the blinds, but I like to let in the natural light when I can. So if you see me going in and out of shadows, that's why. Okay, where was I? Oh, I forgot the scarf. So the little green scarf, I'll add that tonight. And then this, I'm pretty sure I just did it as charted. I think that's all the changes that I made. I don't know. I mean, uh, I really like her pattern and what she has done here. I just kind of wanted to use what I personally had and had it kind of fit my style a little bit. So we'll keep working on this through the end of December. Well, I guess December 25th will be the last one. And um, we, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what she has. Uh, she's already released today. I think today's are the presents. Um, I actually have it sitting in the printer right now. I print them all out. So there we go. That is Christmas blocks. And I talked way too long about that. But <laughs> 
this is my only way to kind of share my changes with you. And if you are a part of this or you want to stitch this, I encourage you to look for the Christmas Blocks Facebook group. And there are, or check up, the, check up, check out the hashtag Christmas Blocks Sal, S-A-L. And you will see other people have done different things. Some people that aren't religious are taking out the, um, the more religious symbols in here and they've replaced it with other things other from other charts or other patterns and um and in that venue we don't really do santa in our home so i'll probably be if they do santa on christmas day i'll definitely change that to something a little uh more representative of our family and that's the beauty of making a stitch your own but i did want to stay true to the designer as much as i could so that's the first whip the second is not even Christmas related, but I haven't shared, shared, shared it, shared an update on my coming to America, Women of the Mayflower. This, I, I failed on getting it for the stitch along on time in the 66 days, but you know what? They didn't land and the women didn't get off the Mayflower till December, so I figured I was good. And, um... I, I've shown the top before. I will do a video just on the Mayflower and talk about all the different changes I made. You can see I changed some of the name colors. I changed the count on this. And then I'm right here. So all I have left is the rest of the fill-in on that board. Um, I did change the color and um, I'm almost out of, this is King Mackerel that I'm doing in the background because it kind of reminds me of a blue washed out board, um, beech wood type of a thing. But I, I'm i almost out of that floss, so I'm hoping I have enough to make it through here. Um, I have a backup one, but it won't be from the same dye lot, so I'm just trying to be really careful and and if I do need to, I'll, I'll fix it. I changed the, it, it has fish bones, which actually look pretty good for those that have done it, but not, I don't, I don't know, no, no offense. I, she did a really good job on charting it. It's just, yeah, fish, fish bones, not me. So I tried to create my own little ship and I don't love it. Let me show you the one up here. Um, I don't love it. This is my first time charting something and, uh, but, I think it's close enough you can tell it's a ship and that's what's really been keeping me is I've seen a couple of other uh, what I've been looking for is a chart that has a small ship that looks more like the Mayflower so if you know of a chart that has a small ship that looks like the Mayflower um, I may or may not be willing to rip this out at some point before I fully finish it and put in a better Mayflower if not, I'll just leave it because that's been my big debate. So I have that to finish up. I've got Plymouth Rock that she's standing on. That's the last thing I'll do. And then my initials right here. So it's it's pretty close to being done. Here's one more look at it. And I learned so much through the process of doing this that it has just become a part of me. I don't know where it's going to go in my home um, and it might be something that I just bring out every September through November to kind of remember the journey. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. But it's almost done so I thought I would share with that with you because I did do a little more work on it and I really do want to finish it in 2020 because they set sail in 1620. And so um, I know some people are real sticklers about putting the, not putting the date on until the end so you know what year it's finished in. But for me, I almost want to know what year it started in more than what it's finished. And I'm okay with doing 20-21 if it didn't get finished in 2020. But with this one, I'll keep it 2020. It's almost done. I'm going to get it done. I just, I'm going to get it done. That'll make me have to get it done. <laughs> because I have two finishes, I also have two new starts. Um, and so this one, it's in my dot dot goose bag. I guess I should show you before I take it out because I don't want to show you any of the pattern. Um, but this is the back and this is the front. And because I've got all my stuffs in there, you can't even see the bag itself, 
but it has this is the pattern that's on the inside it has this little chickadee isn't that the cutest little thing and i can't remember what this is called uh denise from dot dot goose if you're watching um shout out what this is called i think it's like a pal a floss pal or perfect pal or something but it's got a little snap and last time i showed it i said it had uh it had felt it's not felt it's actually wool a wool heart is so soft she's got her little label on there you can put your floss and you can see it kind of sticks on there um, so that as you're working you don't have to wind it back on your bobbin you can just put it on there while you're working and then this um, I didn't know what this was for but now I do and now I need some I actually have some I just need to pull it out of my um, office here a uh, key ring so you can put your bobbins on a key ring and then attach it here and so I thought that was a really good idea and something I could use for this because the bag is about the size of a pattern and I find putting the pattern in and out of here um, is difficult with all that thread. I also, when I'm starting a new pattern, I just take any leftover threads that I have or bobbins that I have, I use those and then I, when I, like a month like this where I'm trying to start lots of new things, um, I will bobbinate it or I'll put it on some sort of floss bitty or bob or whatever as I use it. Um, like classic color works comes already pre-cut but weeks I'll cut it apart and um, and take care of it that way. So there's still a bunch here that are on their original packaging and I think it's mostly DMC. Home for Christmas by Little Doves Design, designed by Faye Walsh. Um, I stitch it on nut, nut, not nut, not another sampler, Jobelin from Be Stitch Me. This was the fabric of the month for September in 28 count. Let me show you the pattern first. This is the pattern. I love this pretty sure that I, I got it. There's a website on there, probably backwards. I don't know. Um, I got this during the pandemic and I printed it out at home. So I don't know where it might have been on um, Fat Quarter Shop because I know they do have some downloadable patterns or um, I don't know, but love it. Love it. And I, so far I have, I'm using all of the called for colors. I plan on using the called for colors. Um, and what I did, and I held my breath a little bit as I got to the bottom, is I just did that outer frame. And the outer, I think that was DMC 926. And you saw it in there. So I have the outer frame. There we go. That color's a little closer to true. Um, but I have that outer border. Once you start, it's really easy to count. The corners are a little bit different, but then it's kind of, it is, it's easy to count down. So you can see the modeling in there with that. And then once I did that, I started on the snowflakes until I was done for the day. I think I just spent one day on this, um, maybe two, but I remember we were watching a movie, so I just got a lot done while I was working on that. Little bit of designs going back in my bag from Dot Dot Me. I have, like I said, two finishes, so I have a new start, another new start. And um, I had to do this. I was watching the video. It's um, Cherry Hill Stitchery. Yes, Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I believe her name is Deanna Carter. I was watching her. Um, I was watching a YouTube video from her and I needed to start, not needed, but I wanted to start something new because I had finished and I'd fully finished and so I was ready to start something new and um, I, I, I love having the stitching with the housewives patterns, but I don't, that's not the only patterns that I have that I want to work on. So I knew I wanted to do something other than a jolly housewives. I still have some, I still have one more left to to finish and then I'll start another new one of those but um, I thought well why not pull out a Cherry Hill Stitchery because I know I have some of those too and again I did this during the pandemic I printed it out and um, I think I had hoped to start it in Jolly July but uh, didn't get to it so this is Merry Christmas from Cherry Hill Stitchery 
I do a lot of snowmen in my decor and I like snowmen because you can kind of keep them up especially since it does snow here more after Christmas um, you can keep it up through the winter so let me look at what I did here so yeah, I was watching her video and I'm like, I'm gonna start a Cherry Hill Stitchery. <laughs> okay, this is on Light Ash Lugana, 28 count. And I got that from Fat Quarter Shop. And this is where I am at. And you can see I also need needle minders because right now I've just got the needle stuck in the last position I did. But, oh, you know what you're seeing? through there let's try that oh yeah that's better isn't that sweet little pine boughs I think that's what they are with some snow on it so cute so sweet I am loving this and again this came together really fast we were watching another movie and um, I really wanted to just stay up and finish stitching it but I had to go to bed I think this was well, I, mean, I started this on Sunday night and so I knew Monday I was doing the last of my shopping for Christmas well it was basically getting the food for this week um, into next week so I wanted at least a full week's worth of food and Christmas food Christmas Eve you know all the things so I knew I needed to get to bed and get up early and head to Costco when they opened <sighs> so my last whip and again, I didn't make very much progress on this, um, but I did get some stitching in on her, her, him. I think it's a him. I think I did some stitching on this. This is Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Snowed In with the Housewives, Stitching with the Housewives, Priscilla Blaine. Priscilla and Chelsea, and this is on fabric, not fabric, I was going to say fabric flare, but because I keep wanting to call it that, but that's not what it is. It's Night Sky by Fiber on a Whim, 14 count, and I believe I'm using the call of four colors. We discussed the snowflakes last year, I last year, last week. And I don't think I had this much of the cuff done. I think I got down to, um, where did I put it? I just had it. I just showed it to me. So down here where you've got the snowflake situation going on. Thank you. I'd love to get these little pine cones that they have in the picture there. But that's where I got on that. Because I had decided, now hopefully the family's not watching because I told them not to, I had decided to do the um, two gingerbreads that I had worked on. One I had shown you I finished sweet delivery um, with my little niece Mika on the truck. And then the other was um, Mrs. Claus that I changed into Nana. They're both gingerbread patterns and I wanted to get those finished and sent to my mom. And my niece, I decided that I would give one. So this is, whoops, actually I didn't show. Um, this is Sweet Delivery. And I changed this to be pink because Mika loves wearing her pink dresses. And I lightened the truck just a little bit to be a little bit closer to my dad's truck. So it would be like Papa's truck for her. And I will hopefully either insert a video here or at the end of this and you'll see how I fully finish this but I also have pictures on Instagram if I can't figure out how to do this and um, I'm gonna post uh, on Christmas Day ish after I've found out that they've opened their presents I'll post pictures of the fully finished with the color conversions as well for you guys on Instagram so um, and my Instagram handle will be down below but it's at Heather's Creative Blessings. And then for my mom, Mrs. Claus, I changed this to say Nana. So it's like Nana's cup. I did some little buttons on there and um, I changed the colors a little bit. I didn't have enough ribbon red for all of my Christmas stitching. 
So, um, and I talked about that in the last video. You can go ahead and check that out if you want to see it. I'll list the colors down. I'll list the colors, like I said, when I post it on Instagram. But you can always ask, and I can look them up for you because I try to keep everything. I'll forget. There's too much going on in my head. I try to keep everything in the cross stitch journal from the fat quarter shop because I can list all the floss colors, the fiber, the fiber, the the manufacturer of the fabric and the count and all of that. So, so yeah, those are my two finishes. So happy mail this week. I didn't get any handmade cards um, yet. I know that things are just crazy right now with the postal service. Our our delivery lady has been so incredible and she's uh, gone above and beyond to get our things to us but you know things get held up along the way and we do live out we live out we're not even a an official town like we don't have police we get the county sheriff if that we need it's just we're out in the I guess it's boondocks is what I would call them so I know not everything gets here and, it, and it's fine. It is what it is. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We only have two packages for the boys that haven't come, or one package maybe, but two things in it for the boys that hasn't come in yet. And, hmm, sorry. We ordered that before Thanksgiving or around that time, and they just... It was supposed to be here, but then they just said it won't be here till like the middle of January. So it, it is what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll show them on Christmas Day maybe. Or maybe we'll just surprise them in January. <laughs> because 2020 is over. <laughs> it just, how many days is it? it it's going to be forever. But um, So uh, happy mail. Most of it is under the tree. But maybe you can see I got my Jolly Housewife shirt. Uh, so this is from... Stitching with the Housewives, the real, the real Housewives of Cross Stitch and the Fat Quarter Shop. And they were out of larges, large and, and extra large. So I thought about just getting an extra large. I like it to be roomy and this has plenty of room. Um, but they came back in stock. So I picked up one of these and um, it's probably going to be my Christmas shirt. We're just staying here with, with our boys. And so we're not going anywhere and you know wear jammies on christmas morning but i think i'll be wearing this one um and then i'll wear this in july for jolly july which i assume is going to be taking place whether um whether they do it officially or not i like stitching excuse me i like doing christmas in july so i'll be doing christmas in july um <laughs> It gets cold here in July, um, especially at night and in the early morning. So I'll definitely be able to wear this probably for one of my videos. If I'm still doing videos, then I, I assume I will, unless I don't, unless you guys don't want to see me. I mean, I, I can see that happening. Fat Quarter Shop has been having, they had their Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and they're having this like 12 days of Christmas or maybe it's 20 days. I don't know. Anyways. This, I got this as part of that, and I think that their Schmetz um, needles were on sale. It might have been the notion of the week or notion of the month, but I got some more of these because I do um, quilting as well. And I got a couple of needle minders. This one is the Liberty, um, hands-on design Liberty jar, and so that'll go on one of my... Um, patriotic stitches and this one is a snowflake holly jolly snowflake and I actually ordered two of these <laughs> it's fine I need needle minders really badly for all these Christmas cross stitching I don't have any in there in other projects that are going to wait until after Christmas is done and then I got some Cosmo 100 floss to try out so I have um I think it's Shannon Christine Designs um, piece that has a lot of white snowflakes and white snow and all that, all the things. And I want to see how different kinds of floss do coverage. So I think for that one, I'm going to try this. And I showed you last week, I got the dinky dies and that was, and now I forgot again. Who said that? 
anyways, the, the, the different, different flosses give different coverage. And so you might find that when you're stitching with white, you don't get a really good coverage. And so I was curious and I was curious to try Cosmo. So I got this and at a local store, I may have shown it in a previous video at a local store, I got two different shades of kind of a teal, um, also from Cosmo. I don't think there was enough white in what I got. So I got an extra skein of that just in case. So that is my plan to start this week or next week. I don't really, don't really know. I'm loving these. So it's kind of, it's a, it's a weird thing to have all these things you want to start, but then loving what you're stitching and want to keep stitching on them. So I'll probably stitch. What do I have here? I don't really have that many. Christmas whips. I guess I've got four going right now, but you know, the stitching with the housewives, a little cup could be easily finished. Um, the advent will definitely be finished. And so that just kind of leaves two. We'll see. I'll probably start another. I definitely will have a Christmas Eve start and maybe a Christmas day. So I, I don't know. I may start I may start a bunch of new things, may not. So um, that's just about it for my video. I don't know if I'll have another one up before Christmas or, or not before Christmas. I won't have another one up before Christmas. Uh, before the new year. Oh, I'm so ready for 2021. Um, I plan on doing a whip parade. That's whip, whips. Whips in progress. Works in progress is what that means. And I think I'll show you all the things that... I have from 2020 and the one project that I have from before 2020 because before this I was a monogamous stitcher I stitch on one thing at a time and that's not how I roll anymore so um, I'll show you all the whips that I have for 2020 um, and then maybe a haul video to show you or yeah maybe a haul video to show you what or Christmas presents that I got to show you that kind of a thing we'll see um, but those are my plans going forward. I'm going to stitch all the things. I'm just going to enjoy the rest of this season. We have everything, I think, you know, other than the cooking on Christmas Day, we've got everything pretty much wrapped up uh, as far as Christmas goes. So that we can just kind of enjoy the rest of the season and just enjoy the time we have with family. I have a very dear friend that is in the hospital she had just she's on a ventilator she got removed from the ICU complete isolation yesterday and her husband for the first time since just after Thanksgiving got to be with her and so he was able to be in the hospital room with her and hold her hand um, they both got COVID at the same time he recovered she did not but she's off of She's got, she's battling pneumonia now because I guess, I don't know that much, you know, I don't want this video to get flagged, but I think that it kind of progresses and attacks different um, organs in your body. So I'm just praying that she has a 100% re complete recovery. My biggest wish and prayer was that um, her husband, Derek, would get to be with her for Christmas and it looks like now it, they'll be in the hospital but he gets to spend two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening with her that's the plan for right now so i just pray that they get to spend christmas together and that mandy as well we can get back to stitching and discussing the next stitch quarterly that comes out and today i actually finally opened my stitch quarterly because i just couldn't there's something we did together and she's not able to do it so now that she's moving towards hopefully recovery. I was able to open that up and um, my prayers are with you Mandy. If you do watch this, I love you sis and I cannot wait for you to be 100% well at home hugging your puppies. I know that your dogs miss you so much and your husband will be so happy and I'll be happy when we can meet together and stitch together again or at least discuss all the stitchy things we've bought. <laughs> So with that, I'll say Merry Christmas to you and yours. I hope you have a safe holiday and that you just enjoy the season, the good things that are in it and find that those blessings, sometimes it can be hard to find, but in the midst of all this going on, that you can find some Christmas joy and Christmas blessings 
And um, with that, I'll say goodbye. I'll see you next year. Yay, 2021. <laughs> Bye, you guys.